I have to confess, I became dubious of your style quiz halfway through because none of the images captured an outfit I would actually want to wear. But I tried to pick the most appropriate. But then the summary was spot on. I've always wanted to express my individuality in what I wear. So it sounds like you came up with creative because that's all about individuality. I like to mix new and vintage. I also do a lot of sewing. The challenge is I face is fit. It's a combination of finding that happy medium between the silhouettes that I'm drawn to and the ones that are flattering on my body shape. And also getting anything to fit right. After years of sewing, I'm finally narrowing down some of the alterations that are necessary, but it's still a struggle to go to my closet and pull out things that I love and make me feel great. I just had a color consultation. I feel confident that this palette of swatches will help me choose the right colors. I'm drawn to bold prints in bold colors, but often didn't feel great in them. And I think it's because they were really fighting with me a bit. If I had one wish, it would be to go to my closet, and not feel like I had to try on so many things before I could put together an outfit and feel happy and confident with it. And this is the thing that you know, you've discovered like a palette is one great place to start. So one of the reasons why we often struggle so much to put outfits together is that we have every color under the sun in there. And so because we've got every color, it's hard for us to mix and match things. And this is where the palette of color makes a huge difference because you'll find that as you develop a closet in colors that all work together because your palette, the colors will naturally work together because they've got the same color properties, you'll actually find it easier to pull different items from your out, from your closet that will actually work together naturally. Those colors will work together. Um, fit is really important. And you've mentioned fit and it's great that you sew because you now know the alterations that can help you you know, make things fit. But this is one of those things. You may have a body shape that does not suit the, you know, vintage fit and flare look, but you may love that vintage fit and flare look. And this is where we have to make a decision. What do we compromise on? Do we go for a different shape that actually suits our body more? Or do we go, I don't care. My personality is more important. I'm going to wear that shape. So there's always compromises to be made with any style. And, you know, unless we have whatever is the magical perfect body that suits every single garment, which that doesn't exist. Uh, not even models do that. So many models, if you look at, you know, to get them to turn around. They've actually got big clamps on the clothes to make them look better <laughs> because they don't actually fit them that well. And we're not walking around with big pins and clamps in our clothes every day now, are we? So when we're thinking about fit, if you can understand what suits your silhouette, what harmonizes with your shape, if you've got a straighter shape, then you're wanting straighter clothes. If you've got a curvier, more wasted shape, then you're wanting curvier, more wasted clothes. It's a fairly simple kind of concept. Uh, but then it's just deciding because I love all the ways to shape stuff and I spent years buying them before I learned what I know now. And and then I realized I was just wasting my money. And then when I looked back at photos, I was always dissatisfied. And when I learned to find the clothes that actually suited my straighter body shape, that didn't come in the waist that hid the fact that I don't have a waist, I actually started feeling much better about myself. So even though I love those clothes and I enjoy them so much on other people, I know they are not for me. Um, and they don't make me feel good because I started feeling much more confident and much better about myself when I stopped wearing those clothes. And I actually started to, you know, you know, enjoy wearing the clothes that actually suited my shape. So, you know, we, part of this can be a mindset shift as well. And then, of course, going to your closet and not feeling like you have so many things, you know, to try on so many things. Part of this can be is actually understanding it's getting that style education to figure out what it is that works for you. And even the proportions of when I'm wearing a wide leg pant or jean, I need a slimmer fitting top. Uh, and that is shorter versus if I'm wearing something that is slimmer on the bottom, I can have a more voluminous or longer top. So there are different, you know, elements of principles of coordination and so the principle of volume, the level of refinement, um, related shapes and related lines. These are our principles of coordination. When we have learned these, it makes putting outfits together so much easier. And this is why I say getting a style education is the most valuable education because you have to get dressed your entire life. So when you know these things, when you've got that style education, you become wise and it becomes much easier to pull out the things that will go together without having to try and, you know, and, uh, you know, try and try and try and try um, so many different garments on before you start to get, you know, the right things that work together. So one of the things you could do is to look at your favorite outfits and notice 
you know, start noticing what are the things that are actually working about them. So why does, you know, this pant work with this top? Why do these things work together? Is there something that's, you know, that's making those things work? Then you can actually start applying those principles to other outfits that you create.